What's up guys, Takedown here. This is story time number five. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm glad I get the opportunity to do it. This one, as the title says, is Fighting the Art Teacher. Now it wasn't a physical fight, but let me explain. So where, where do I really start with this story time? Um, in high school, I wasn't in art class. I didn't get the opportunity for art class until the 11th grade, which the art teacher suggests if you're going to take her class, even though it's just art in my opinion, that you have to take the 9th grade, 10th grade, and 11th grade. So since going into the 11th grade, as the first year I took um, art, she wasn't too happy. She wanted me to switch. I said, no, it's an easy credit to get. She didn't like that I said that. It's my opinion, art is an easy credit to get. I do like art, as I've stated before on this channel. But um, anyways, back to the point. So she wanted me to switch to the ninth grade class. I said, no, I'm not taking a ninth grade class. I don't need a ninth grade credit. I want this 11th grade credit because I'm in the 11th grade. To me, mentally, that made sense. So anyways, we stuck through it. She didn't like my style of art, um, as I stated before, too. I like more of a tattoo design. That's what I was really into back then. I'm still into it now, just I don't get the chance to draw as much because I'm always making videos. But I used to draw a lot of skulls, tattoo designs, stuff like that, stuff that she didn't like. But in my defense, she was the type of teacher that she only liked people to draw or do anything art related as long as it's her style. If you were doing anything that she liked or her style, you were her golden child. She loved you as a student. If you didn't like her style and you like to draw your own style, she hated you. She hated your guts. She would give you less grades for it. In my opinion, that's not something you can do, as especially as an art teacher. Because to teach art, you should be teaching that um, students can choose different ways to express themselves, different style of art, not just sticking with one style of art that you so happen to like. Now, what she um, didn't know is... Thought I was going to pass the class. She kept saying I wasn't. I wouldn't do the weekly sketches. I would just brush that off. That was minor credit, like a pop quiz at the beginning of math class or something stupid like that. But I managed to pass the class. Um, she didn't know that I was going to choose art for the 12th grade too. And the first day, whenever I went into class, um, one of the first things she said to me is, uh, what are you doing here? This, this is my class, I'm, I'm in class right now. And she said, yeah, but why would you choose art again when you barely passed last year? My response to that is uh, to prove myself, not to you, but to prove myself that I can enjoy art. So we stuck with the hate relationship through all year. We've had a few yelling matches. She degraded a lot of students. I know one of my close friends at the time um, was in the 12th grade with me, but because he never took art before and it was a grade 12, nine split, half the class is grade 12s, half the class is grade nines. She put him in the grade nine spot, which to me was embarrassing and she should have not done that, basically just took it easy on him. But one thing I did enjoy about being in the 12th grade now was I can draw whatever style I want. It's an open, uh, class now so I can do whatever style I want It so happened that I stuck with the skulls and the tattoo designs and that kind of stuff which she didn't like so she didn't grade my work appropriately She would grade it Less than other students because it was just tattoo designs skulls stuff like that Even though some of my work in my opinion was really good really thought out really creative Because it wasn't her style. She didn't like it. So she didn't give me the grades. I um thought I deserved. Leading into the end of the sec uh, the semester um, is the second semester so graduation is approaching rapidly. Um, at this point I am just failing. I'm, I'm, I'm on the borderline of pass and fail and near the last two weeks it was kind of catch up period so she's given the students an opportunity to come to her, ask her during class, outside of class or whatever 
what they can do, what projects they can do to bring their grade up so they can have a passing credit. She did that with every student, but when it came to me, whenever I asked her in class, what do I need to do to pass? Her response was, don't worry about it. And then she went on to the next student, just walked away and was talking to another student about whatever they were talking about. So I went up to her and I kindly asked, uh, I, I kindly said to her, no, um, as a student, you're given an opportunity to everybody else to uh, ask and you're answering their questions of what they need to do to pass. I'm not that far under the line to fail and I'm not that far behind. I just need a few things. What a uh, few things, projects haven't I done throughout the year uh, that I could do to pass? Oh, her response was, oh, don't worry about it. You're not going to pass. Which instantly infuriated me, instantly pissed me off, and takedown went off on this lady. I started screaming. She started yelling. We're just going back and forth like a yelling match. Basically, my point was, uh, I did, I was cursing and swearing a lot. And the whole class is just sitting there like, holy crap, this is happening. We, we, we're enjoying this. Screw the rest of the day. We're watching a fight happen between a student and a teacher. And that's what everybody enjoys watching. It's the most comical thing you could ever see. Basically, we're yelling back and forth. And my argument was, I'm the effing student. I'm just failing. There's a few things I could do to change that. As a teacher, you're giving everybody the opportunity opportunity, and tell them what they can do to change that, but you're not giving me it and you're telling me that I'm just going to fail. What do I need to do? And we're just arguing back and forth. Then what happened was the fire alarm went off. We had a fire drill. Of course, schools hate. I hated that, but I see the reason behind it. But so we had a fire drill. That stopped the yelling instantly. We The whole class went out, uh, stood in our designated area. And then some of the, a student came up to me and uh, said, you really pissed her off. I said, yeah, I know, but my point's valid. And they're like, yes, they are. And they're like, but did you know today is her birthday? <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, it's her birthday? Well, she had a bad birthday then. <laughs> Oh, I felt like such an asshole, but at the same time, my points were valid. So from that, I got an in-school suspension or something else maybe happened that I had an in-school suspension, which means I sit in the principal's office, I do work all day, that's it. I was extremely bored, sitting there doing nothing. So I went to the principal, I said, look, I'm not sitting here all day. I'm not doing this all day. I'm calling home. Mark it as a regular suspension. I'm going home. I'm not. I'm not dealing with this. I could just and I, and I lied. I'm like I could just do some work at home on my laptop. I have some of it there. I can do more stuff there than I can do here. Basically, I just wanted to go home. It was bullshit. I didn't. I've never had an in school suspension, let alone a suspension. And because of that teacher, I did. So I didn't see the purpose of having to stay at school for it. So I called home, or maybe the principal called home. Dad came and without knowing. Dad wanted to have a meeting with the principal. So I sit, sat there and I'm thinking, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It's hitting the fan right now. I'm going to be in shit. Dad usually is never on my side for this type of stuff ever. It's never really been. Um, but this time, uh, unknowingly, he was. And he went in there and he was yelling and screaming at the principal because dad knew what was going on. Dad stood up to the principal, and I can't remember exactly what the principal said, but my dad's response is, uh, called the teacher something, I can't even remember what it was to say it, it was so long ago, um, maybe three, four years ago, but I can't remember what he said, but he said something, the principal's face went red, so I gotta go home for the day, um, my dad's argument was, He's going home, that's going to be on his record. Well, to me, it didn't really matter because it's a high school record. I, I wasn't going to college anyways, at least not yet. Might in the future, but... Um, so they, they took that off, and then um, instead of me going back to the class, since it was so close to the end of the year, they um, told me I didn't have to go, so it was kind of like a free period that day, uh, or during that hour. 
which I was okay with. I didn't really care anyways. I didn't want to go back to the class anyways, but I did want to finish what I started, which is the class. And the principal, because they knew and they heard from numerous students what happened that day that went so wrong uh, in the teacher's eyes, they knew I was right. The teacher should have gave me uh, or at least told me what I can do to pass, which is what a teacher's responsibility is to help their students pass. She failed to do that. So even though I was failing, the principal changed that. Even though I missed about a week of the class, the last week of class, um, he gave me the credit and because, because what she did was wrong, she should have told me what to do and that would have changed everything. I would have been able to pass on my own. But I was given the credit, which I didn't really like at the time, but I thought, hey, I still haven't failed a credit. I haven't failed a class. And during my whole high school, I didn't fail the class. So this is a story time. This is number five of me arguing with this art teacher, fighting the art teacher, I guess, um, and the story behind it. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys are enjoying the story time um, series I'm doing on my channel. I'm enjoying telling you guys this stuff and thinking of memories and being like, oh, crap, I could do a story time about that. Um, it's really opened my eyes what possibilities I have on this channel. But I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.